What is up guys, this is Krenzi here. Today I'm giving you a C Sharp tutorial on how to make a picture in front of a picture and make the front picture transparent. So let's just resize the form here. And we're going to add just we're going to add two picture box. So let's get the first picture box, put it right there, and make it bigger. And let's get the second picture box and make it whatever size you want, doesn't really matter right now. And we're going to call this picture box front and the other picture box back. <laughs> and let's go to code. So I'm already prepared, let's just load the pictures to the picture boxes. So, yeah. And let's run the form. Um, yeah, so hold on. Forgive me for that. Let's just add one more line. Change the size of the front picture box to the image size. And let's run. So as you can see, it's grey and instead, and we want it to match the background behind it. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. Let's get started. So what we need to do first is add a new class and we're going to call it helper I can type today and let's make it public and we're going to add a private static void blend pictures let's call it blend pictures and it's going to get with Yes, um, uh, first we need to add two um, uh, references using system.rowing and using system windows forms. And it's going to get a bitmap BG, a bitmap front, int delta x, and int delta y everything will be explained don't worry and now we're going to make a public static void blend picture we're going to um, uh, overload it and it will get two picture box back and front and in this method we're going to it's first it's going to get the two picture boxes and in this method we're going to write a few important lines so we're going to write the the difference between the left um, a parameter of these two and I can't write today and it's going to be equal to math absolute value of back dot left minus front dot left and top difference is going to be exactly the same just instead of back left and front left is going to be back top and front top all right and to finish it all we're going to call the private method and set and cast to bitmap the back dot image and cast to bitmap the front dot image and send left difference and top difference and now in this method we're going to need two for loops so let's start with the for loops so for y from 0 to front height and in this for loop we will need another for loop x from 0 to you guessed it front width now to make sure we 
only change pixels in which um, uh, it's n it's not a pack so we'll need to ch do an if statement so we're now moving between each pixel and let's make an if statement of if front dot get pixel and as you can see we get the color of a specific pixel in the specific coordinates so we send x and y dot a which is alpha which is the opacity value is smaller than 255 so here we're going to write to create a new color um, uh, type and we're going to call it new color and it's going to be equal to background bg in this case dot get pixel and we're going to add x plus delta x and y plus delta y and I'll explain why so if we run this program right now you can see um, uh, if for example I'm on x0 and y0 and I want to change it not to the background 0 and 0 I want to change it to the background 0 0 plus the location of the donut in the background so this is why this is the meaning of the delta x and delta y here so yeah that's it and it's all it and now last line is going to be front dot set pixel you can see it gets coordinates and a new color so we're going to type x y and new color and that's it. All we have to do now is go to our code here and add this helper line. So helper dot blend pictures and we're going to send this back and this front. And if we run this program, if we run this program right now, it should be good. Let's see. And as you can see, it blends beautifully in the background. So and we can also decide if we want to move the front pictures to whenever we want to move it, it blends there. Um, next tutorial is going to be about movement within the front picture and how we do it. It's not very difficult, so yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you guys next time.